What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Will coming at y'all with another video, man. Right now, as y'all can see, bro, it is 4:25 a.m. not p.m. Bro, I was supposed to get these reactions out. I took a nap, bro. I promise. I took a nap for like an hour, bro. I didn't wake up until like one o'clock in the morning, bro. And I was like, you know what? I couldn't go back to sleep. I was like, fuck it. Why not just make a couple reaction videos and get these out to y'all tomorrow or later today, basically. But in today's video, we about to react to Juice World Relocate. Shout out to Tyrese. He recommended a couple videos. I'm going to go ahead and knock these out for him. Uh, like the video. Comment down below what else you want to see next. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. You know, I think more than me because he, he <clears throat> a lot of really nice generous. R.I.P. bro, man. Like he bought me a house, and, you know, cars, and paid off my student loans, and you know, all kinds of stuff. But he'd just be like, okay, he didn't care. He, he just didn't care about stuff like that. When he came to see the house, he was like, oh, That's crazy. This is like the places used to take me. I'm glad you like. Bro had a bro had a real impact, like for real, and his audience was like everybody that was. Or everybody I can relate to, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about popping pills. Not every song was... He was on depression stuff, but mostly his music was like a depressive type of mood, but it was uplifting. Like, he was talking about shit that he was going through his demons, but he was trying to say, like, there's shit on the other side that I can get to. I just got to fix right now type shit. And I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to that, bro. We all go through some shit. Come on. But seeing this crowd build up, that shit crazy. To see the house, it's like, oh, this is like the places used to take me. I'm glad you like your house. Did it on my own, I'm gonna do my own thing. Mama in the man, just have to relocate. Remember playing out the seek in the cross bay. Now I'm playing in the 16 room by the lake. Real estate is an investment, houses in the hay. Trying to block me from my blessing. Get shot in the face with a 40 Smith and West. I'm a fool with that. That shit crazy. See, bro, what I just say, you dealing with your inner demons, bro, just painted that. Like, this is the person, and then this is the demon, bro. Like, it's easy to fuck up, bro. It's easy to be negative. It's easy to, you know what I'm saying, start on that bad side because we deal with that shit on the daily. What's hard is trying to convert that shit to good. And trying to always stay good, bro. You're going to have people around you that's going to try to bring you down because they trying to do the same shit you trying to do by fixing yourself. They don't like that shit. So they want to bring you down to where they at. It's a fight, bro. It's a fight every day. That nigga cold. You see what I'm, bro? I know I'm not tripping. You see what I'm saying? Right here. Text LF 999 to 741741. Available 24 7. That's like a suicide prevention or like if you need somebody to talk to. That's what I'm saying. Most of his fans, bro, look at his fan base. Most of his fans were on the same type of shit. Whatever type of music you make, that's who you going to attract, bro. I'm not saying bro is a negative person or he's a depressing person. He makes good music, but his music is meant for people that's going through some shit. That's why everybody got touched emotional when bro died because his music touched you. Like I said, everybody been through some shit, bro. Everybody can relate to his music. It's live. Now, of course, I'm not listening to the music because um, bro talking about pills and shit like that. I'm really listening to it for the vibe. I don't pop pills and do that shit, bro. Not saying I haven't, but I don't I don't touch that shit no more. I just smoke weed, bro. That's it. Just around as obvious as evident Ain't nobody better than oh, Better than oh, Better than oh, Cowboy gun talk Loaded up Buck him Chopper like nothing Chucks Use it like Chuck now Child's play Cycle since the shorty Like Chuck now Broad day Walking in your house No rushing hey, Two-faced Niggas nowadays Don't trust them Behind your back Planning your attention 
attack, that's your brand. Life to your back, but you feel the pain in your cardiac. It hurt when your day ones change like no other. Snakes in the grass, they gon' be there forever. Third eye open, I'm a scene. Bro, I ain't forever. even know they had this. So every every December they be having artists like Lucky, Trippy Red. I don't know who else they about to show, but they have people come out and perform at this like day or special day. That's live, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Had an impact. I wonder if they do this shit for X. Oh, that's hard, bro. X and him, they was on the same type of, like, on some legend shit, bro. Both of them niggas was on some real shit. X was, X already fought his demons, and he he figured some shit out, bro. That's why they off, bro. He figured some shit out with your energy, and he tapped into some other shit, bro. I'm not the one to say it's witchcraft, whatever, but... He tapped into the crystals. He tapped into the frequencies and shit, bro. But, hey, he figured something out that helped him, that worked on him. And he was trying to share it to the world. And then, boom, bro, got off. Juice World, we all know what happened to Juice World, bro. It was on the the jet or the plane, whatever. And FBI was trying to raid it. And supposedly, bro, took a whole bunch of pills. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm speculating because that's the assumption that they made. Allegedly, that's what happened. But R.I.P. to both of them, man. If you ever felt like you was a misfit and you didn't fit into some type of system that everybody's trying to put you in, but you feel like you still won't make it in this world, that's exactly what you are. This is what this day is for, me and you and you. That shit crazy. You see what I'm saying? It's not the fact that you're different, bro. It's just, I don't know. Everybody be on some different shit, bro. It's just like high school. High school, when you went to high school, bro, it was like categories. You had the jocks, which is the people that played sports, bro, and that had the letterman jackets pulling all the holes cause, just because they was an athlete. You had the nerds. The nerds, these are stereotypes, bro, with the nerds, with the glasses. Uh, you ever seen Family Matters? And Urkel, that was the nerd group. How Urkel looked, that was the nerd group, bro. Like the geek squad, nigga. They the smartest people in the room. The niggas that had the straight A's. They got paid for doing your homework type shit. And then you had the people that was just in the middle. You wasn't lame, but you wasn't a jock. Or my fault, you wasn't a nerd. I'm not saying nerds are lame. <laughs> you wasn't a nerd or you wasn't a jock. You was just in the middle, bro. And that's where I fit in. I did play sports like my first two years of high school, bro, but I knew that shit wasn't about to go nowhere. I could have made it go somewhere, bro, but I realized, I came to the to the realization like, bro, I'm a YouTuber. I make music, bro. Basketball, football, that shit cool, but I don't see myself going to the NFL. I don't see myself going to the NBA. So why am I wasting my time doing this shit? And that's what bro trying to say, bro. Like, if you feel like you don't fit in this world, you do fit in this world, really. It don't matter what you are, because when you grow up, all them stereotypes of high school and shit, that shit go out the window. You're not in high school no more, my nigga. You're a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman. Get on your shit. Focus on your purpose, bro. You're going to be straight. If nobody fuck with you, fuck them. Fuck with yourself. Talk to God, bro. Now, you can text this number, you know what I'm saying, and, and try to type out how you feel. But really, bro, you don't need this number. I'm not saying don't do it, but really, bro, talk to God. Even though God, it might seem like God not there face to face, but trust me, God hear you, bro. God see you crying. God know, bro, he know everything you're going through. He know your heart. He know your mind. He know your future. He know your past, your present, and your future, bro. But the moment you believe in him and you act in a way that's God-like, you follow the commandments, you, you doing everything right, bro, everything... It's gonna go your way just because you have favor from God, bro. And they say favor ain't fair. But I ain't gonna do too much talking. RIP the Juice World. Like the video, comment down below what else you wanna see next. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Jay Wood signing out, man. Peace.